So it appears Call of Duty 2025 information allegedly was taken from a focus group meeting and all the information that I'm going to be talking about was corroborated by Tom Henderson, one of the most reliable leakers in the Call of Duty community. He's been leaking Call of Duty for a very long time and I do want to give some background to this leak because there is a previous post and I also made a video uh, discussing this leak a while ago, uh, I think during Modern Warfare 3's run. And obviously, Modern Warfare 3 is over, the life cycle's done, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 comes out next week, and we're going to be talking about Call of Duty 2025. And there was a focus group meeting, I don't know why somebody would take a picture of this, uh, but there is a picture floating around and I don't want to post it here because I don't want to get anybody in trouble And I don't want this video to get taken down But we're going to be talking about the leaks in this video again Everything was corroborated by Tom Anderson So it kind of checks out but I would again take everything with a grain of salt going into this video because again nothing can be guaranteed what i find crazy about this leak too is that we don't even know who the developer for this game is but if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video i would really appreciate if you guys can drop me a like subscribe if you guys are new and let's get right into this so apparently the campaign is set in 2035 continuing the black ops storyline the protagonist is david mason from black ops 2 the story is focused on espionage and informational warfare the multiplayer retains meat shield mechanics human shields can have grenades stuck to them and be thrown back at enemies omni movement is going to be returning including wall jumps for tactical advantages i really hope that boost gameplay is not coming back i would hate that because i think that era of call of duty is over over. don't get me wrong i would like to see maybe a game mode return with that but i'm not holding my breath for zombies it's going to be focused on round based similar to black ops 6 which is very good news i know that a lot of people did not enjoy vanguard or mw3 zombies and those opinions are very valid i don't think modern warfare 3 zombies was pretty bad i mean it's kind of a first for what it was modern warfare zombies mixed with what warzone i don't really think it's that that bad but i know some people really do not like that and I've, i can understand for good reason i'm not gonna lie to you and it's going to be featuring one of the largest maps in the series with a transportation system similar to transit it introduces an eight player mode possibly linked to a classic mode where players start with a pistol craft armor and find new weapons modes like outbreak and mwz are likely to return due to community feedback and that is all the leaks that we have gotten and and I just want to say, please take everything with a grain of salt. None of this is confirmed, but Tom Henderson, the number one reliable leaker, has contributed to this. Now, if you guys do want to go back and watch my previous video where I do kind of go over some of the information we have gotten, because some of this is new, and I'm glad that it also contains the Black Ops storyline where we're going to follow David Mason again from Black Ops 2. It's going to pick up after the events of Black Ops 2. The Black Ops storyline is is so convoluted and confusing black ops 6 takes place in the 90s black ops 2 takes place in 2025 and obviously the 90s too or i think 89 or 88 during the events of menendez's storyline and i know black ops 6 is supposed to take place right after those events uh the menendez storyline but um it is a little convoluted i wish it wasn't like this but unfortunately new stories are always going to be told and some things will be changed around i'm just happy that we're getting another black ops game i would rather honestly no nah, i'm gonna be honest with you i'd rather them not push out every single year a new call of duty but you know i that's only just a wish i'm happy that we're going to be following david mason i wonder if the original voice actor is going to be returned or they're going to find another voice actor to replace the actor that we got in black ops 2 they did that similarly in black ops cold war replacing woods and mason from their original counterparts but then that guys that's going to have to wrap up today's video i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and i will catch you guys in the next video peace out